Right, so I have this loop, hip hop broke beat. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it into a real audio file because right now it's a uh, CAF file. It's an Apple loop file. So what I have to do here is highlight the loop. I wanna right click this file to open up this, uh, this editing, um, editing box. And I wanna go down here to convert to new audio file. All right, so I'm gonna save this. Um, right in the same folder that I'm working in. That's hip hop broke beat. I'm gonna change the file format to AIF. Everything else I'm gonna leave, leave the same. Press save. And now the same loop in an AIF, AIF, excuse me, AIF file is in my, um, in my bin. So now I'm gonna drag that into this arrange, arrange window. I'm gonna mute the uh, Apple loop file and I'm gonna work from the audio file now. Okay, now what I need to do is, I need to split this up into separate regions so we can make separate samples to bring into our EXS24 uh, sampler. So I click on this, on this file, and I go right up here to audio. Now I hit the strip silence function. Okay, now you can adjust, you can adjust everything you know, to your liking. I have the threshold set to 1.0%. I have the minimum time to accept the silence set to zero, excuse me. I have the pre-attack time set to 1.2. I have the post-release time set to zero, and I have the search zero crossing box checked. I now have 36 new regions from that, um, from that one sample loop. So I'm gonna hit okay, and now as you can see, it became 36 new regions. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my audio bin, I'm gonna highlight one piece at a time, and hit the, uh, Audition button, which looks like a little speaker at the bottom. There you go. There's the kick. There's a clap. These are all pieces we made from the one loop. Another kick. Another hi hat here. Another hi hat with a clap. Another hi hat. The uh, boom sound clap and so on so forth you get the idea now you have all these different samples okay next I am going to show you how to import them into your sampler to make a whole new drum kit using those sounds from that loop now I have an instrument track open here or you should create one if you don't have one open a software instrument track and I'm gonna go open up my EXS sampler And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit the edit button, new instrument, zone, load multiple samples. Let's find the beat chop folder. There we go. And I'm going to hit add all. It's adding all of the samples I just made, all 36 of them. Hit contiguous zones, zone with one, hit OK. There we go. Now, You'll see, here they are. Here are the different chops. They're all on each key. Ready to go. Now you can play them how you like. You don't have to use that loop anymore, but you can use the sounds to make, you know, a new loop. Pretty hot. All right, I'm gonna save that. Save as, and I'm just gonna write beat chops. That's the name of the instrument, beat chops. Doesn't make a difference right now. I'm just doing it just to show you. But I have an instrument now in my library called Beat Chops. All right, anyway, um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Take care.